contest we get, we actually had 74 teams from local high schools and um, all over Pennsylvania and they just come and compete. We have three different rounds. There's a quiz bowl round, a brain teaser round, and there's 24 and that's very exciting. The whole department comes together. We have our secretary involved, all different professors come in, and Dr. Lister runs the whole thing. We get all the questions together, we score them. We also, um, like we have different people walking them to the places around campus to make sure they know where they're going. We also do a brain teaser section, and that brain teaser section is while teams are waiting to go to their quiz bowl rooms. So they would go to room 411 for the quiz bowl, and then go back and do brain teasers that were left over. So the quiz bowl is a, a group of teams, so a team is usually of four or three students, and they will go face another team and a projector shows the question that they have to solve. So it could be anything from what's a secant of 270 degrees to find a limit of something else. And they have a couple, they have a minute to answer each question. If they answer it beforehand, that's great, but then it starts up again. And then if they get the question wrong, the other team has 30 seconds to figure out where they went wrong, or if that other team went wrong, and try to figure out the problem. And then they do it by a, a point system for the first two round, for the first round, and then it's head-to-head -head for the second and third round. So we use a deck of cards without the face cards, and all the numbers represent themselves, the ace is one, and you put four cards out, and you have to use the basic operations to get 24. So for example, if you had an 8, a 3, a 2, and a 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 times 3 times 8 is 24. So that's using all the cards that are there and a combination of the different operations to get there. Most kids go for the easy multiplications of 4 and 6, 3 and 8, 2 and 12, and they find out ways to get the cards to equal those two numbers so that way they could just multiply them. Other kids are going, all right, I'm going to be the addition kid, I'm going to be the subtract, uh, multiplication subtract kid. Other kids are just trying to figure out other ways to do it. I think it exposes our, um, our university to the public and then it, brings, it gives them a different look at it. So instead of just hearing the tour of what we have to offer academically and activities wise, they get to see our buildings, they get to eat our food, they get to um, collaborate with the faculty and they get to talk to us and things like that. My favorite part is seeing them actually solve the problems because they're so lightning fast and I just, I'm just always so amazed by them. They're faster than I am. They finish these questions and I'm just like, Whoa, oh my gosh, they got that right? I couldn't even read the question before they finished answering it. Watching this math competition, I actually want to incorporate it into my classroom later as a future educator. So that way I could have kids play 24 and it works them with every operation that they have to learn throughout everything. So it's just a nice review. We do this, uh, I think, to get us as math majors out there and kind of get um, a different take on making math fun. A lot of people hear math and they groan or something, but we like it and we uh, get other people who like it and we get together and have a lot of fun.